What's up everyone? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I am super excited for this particular reaction today because it's kind of my childhood. Technically, I could be classified as a 90s kid. I was born in 87, so I grew up in the 90s. That was, I remember the 90s. It was my childhood. Uh, so I'm going to see how many of these commercials I actually remember and uh, see kind of how I look at it in hindsight with the experience of 33 plus years. Uh, side note, listen, if you were born any time after the year 1999 or the year 2000, people younger than me saying like the 90s was the best decade ever. I'm like, listen, 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 listen. I was there. It was okay. Wasn't great. Wasn't terrible. It was fine. It was a fine decade. The only thing like I remember from the 90s is a lot of neon, a lot of really sugary drinks, and a lot of sweating because I played outside a lot. Plus, I grew up in Florida, so doesn't matter what you do in Florida, you're going to sweat at some point. But that being said, uh, I'm going to react to some commercials, and uh, <laughs> I, I honestly don't really know what to expect uh, or how many of these I'm actually going to remember, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, this is from a channel called... 80s commercial vault and it says these commercials were aired on NBC on August 7th 1994 I was six seven I was seven <laughs> all right all right I don't really know what to expect here so uh this should be pretty interesting so uh here we go here we go how nostalgic are we gonna get fresh baked bread Piled with extra lean juicy ham. Oven roasted turkey breast. Topped with a classic taste of... Pardon me. Would you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> Introducing Subway's new... A Grey Poupon commercial. Turkey, ham, and the great See what's funny about these commercials? I don't actually remember the Grey Poupon commercials, but I remember everybody I knew quoting it. Like, I don't think I ever actually saw a Grey Poupon commercial, but like, so many people used to quote it. Fire and light. Oh, dude, I remember these commercials. Yes, the classical music was like Vivaldi or I don't know who it is, but. Yes. Yeah, they had the silhouettes and they had the Diamond is Forever, yep. Definitely remember that one. Remember all those. Tylenol gel pads. All the power of extra strength Tylenol combined with innovative Joko technology. Nothing works faster. It goes away really Gotta love that early 90s CGI, that's for sure. Tylenol gel tabs, the newest form of power. I like how everyone's dressed in like the corporate 90s, like yuppie style too, because that was the pop culture back then. More energy than most dogs twice his size. make Mighty Dog. It has the perfect balance Mighty Dog. It makes your dog a mighty dog. I don't remember the commercials, but I remember just the overall spirit of it. Like, it definitely really weird angles, really like stretched out faces and stuff. Early 90s graphics, remember that. Definitely remember that. Now the Martin Short press conference continues. Martin Short, wow. He's so young. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> Martin Short comes to NBC Tuesday this fall. The only time I think of Martin Short now is his character on How I Met Your Mother. We also want to make them easier. Every woman in my family had that haircut. Get to know and get to know every woman in my family, without fail. I don't wait. My mom. I don't think my mom did, but everybody else. Ants. with your name, address, and daytime phone number two. WMMR Taco Bell Beach House. Yep. Definitely remember all those graphics. Philadelphia, PA one nine one zero six. Send a postcard to this, and we'll send you here, or you could win a vacation to somewhere else. I remember this one where you could like register to go meet the Olsen twins because back when the Olsen twins were like really big. For just two ninety nine. Now that's a work of art. The ninety nine cent daily double. That was a college kid's dream when I was in school for sure. Explosive secrets of clear and present danger on entertainment. Oh my gosh, the hair. Good God. Sorry, you it's like what was left over from the 80s just bled into the 90s and said, let's tone it down, but not really. <laughs> what do you want on your tombstone? Every single one of these commercials looks, looks like 
if you were to take candy and make it into a film. Like, not a film about candy, but like candy in the in film form. That's what all these commercials look like. Napkin? No. Looks like she's wearing fake. But it's not. It's Saucy's mascara. <laughs> okay, I still listen to that song, right, said Fred? I love that song. I'll be cruising in my car. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. It's sexy, yeah. <laughs> I'm a model. You know what I mean? I shake my look to Sean the catwalk. <laughs> The first question he asked me is, like, how do I get it home? It was a very what was it with, like, a, why were people so obsessed with cant angles, like, slightly tilted, like, the Dutch angles? What was that? Why were people so obsessed with that in the 90s? I swear everyone did that. <laughs> Super slow motion with that, yeah. This month, you can go to McDonald's to check out the world's coolest cars. Not those cars, these cars. Or meet a bunch of cool new friends. Not those friends, these friends. Now kids can choose between a hip hop... Yeah, not real friends, plastic ones that don't actually talk back. It's great! <laughs> Isolation is fun. Eight of each to collect, only at McDonald's. Not those McDonald's, this McDonald's. Hey, I like those guys. I don't know who they are, but they're wearing kilts. It's cool. No, I don't want you to buy me a hat. I'm saying that I am a hat. It's a metaphor, Daddy. You can see where you'd have trouble. Friends, Thursday's business on NBC. It's so weird seeing Friends advertised as like a thing that's current. On your knees, buddy. Will the Brits accept their new lord? This card is good for. Oh, Michael Moore was a thing back then. NBC Tuesday. Well, that's cool. This week on today, yeah, he is what he is. Also, true stories of the Kennedy God, those graphics. All the squiggly lines and all that, like, oh my goodness. It's so cheesy. Oh, this is awkward. This is uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable. I don't like this. Well, you can do school or you can do drugs, but you really can't do both. Lecture me on drugs, pal. All right. All right, you get out of here, you. I don't even want to hear what you're saying. Just, just stop talking. Stop talking. Stop. Stop it. Just... Yeah, don't say anything. The more you know. I mean, let me tell you something about what we know about you, pal. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story. The minor pain of arthritis. Use this. An Advil is gentler on your stomach than aspirin. This guy looks like he should be storing, like, human livers. Advil. In his trunk. Medicine for pain. Okay, I know I say this because I'm obsessed with him, but that genuinely sounds like Eddie Van Halen on the guitar. Woodstock 94. The you Woodstock 94, it's current. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Wow, three. So cutting edge. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Precision. If your bacon cheeseburger isn't flame broiled, fire it. Welcome to Burger King. And get a new flame broiled bacon mega supreme. The new bacon mega supreme is a third pound of beef broiled over bacon over mega supreme. Flame broiling beef frying four to one. I never had that, but it sounds Hot, crispy bacon, melted exactly cheese, like something Burger King would have. So if it's fried, it ought to be fire. Get the new flame. It's weird seeing the old Burger supreme. King like uh, more great value. What, what is it? The um. The, like the old sign. NBC Sunday night. Brake shoes and pads for as long as you own your car. I feel like things moved so much faster in the 90s when it came to when it came to like advertisement. And maybe it's just because there was no social media back then. So back then, like TV was the main source of you know having to get stuff out there really really quickly. But I feel like commercials now like aren't like this. Like it's just everything's just like so 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 so, so in your face. It's like, buy this. Now we don't need that. We just look on the sidebar on Facebook. Or we just say something and then it pops up into our feed. Yeah, that's right. You hear me? You hear me? Mark Zuckerberg. Subway. Let's see if Subway pops up on my Facebook. Dealing with people is that they're all different. So I better have 
have different kinds of chicken. And I better have different kinds of fixings to go for different kinds of chicken. If you give someone different a kinds of chicken. A price, they'll come back to Finger licking it. Dude, I can't get over the hair. I seriously can't get over the 90s hair. The guys and the girls, all, everybody. <laughs> As I, as I do this. Yeah. Look, the fact is, at the end of the day, 10, 20, 30 years from now, people are going to be looking at us and saying, God, I can't believe that hair. So, you know, it's okay. Our team has to I do like that black and white kind of documentary style, though. That's actually held up pretty well, I think. Like, I've used this style in some of, some of my films. Not the super slow-mo. That's cheesy as crap. But the black and white... Doesn't yet, but usually go out of style. Dave! Dude, the Wendy's guy! Aww. I miss that guy, he was such a sweet dude. That makes me. Uh, that, 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 that got me, that made me sad. Reminds me of when I was in San Francisco. I met this sailor and. Hey, look at the sign! Such a cool guy. I love Dave. Oh, now I'm getting nostalgic. Yeah, it's okay. I've had Honey Bunches of Oats. More of a straight-up granola guy. That's just me. I have, what did you just say? I have no idea what you just said. What did you just say? What did you, what did you, what did you just say? I love that Elmer's glue posing as milk. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so appetizing, but that'll kill me if I drink it or eat it or whatever. <laughs> Cutting edge! 1994 car. What is that? Wow. AM, FM. <laughs> this is real, man. <laughs> and four speakers. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Toyota. Tough day, huh? See, more cant angles, more Dutch angles. What is that? Hey, I still suck at fractions. When your day needs a little turnaround, Blockbuster has 9,000 ways to make it a Blockbuster. Aww. Yeah, I got one. With boys, kids, and girls. <laughs> you think it would be okay if I asked you out sometime, maybe? Maybe. Okay, maybe I will. God, Ross! I could go in on Ross. I... I'll talk about it. Yeah. You hold some of your famous chicken gravy upside down over Wanda's head. Sealed in either your bag or the Gladlock bag. Hey, take it easy on Wanda. She's awesome. Your bag doesn't have a green seal. Why say let's go for it with our bag? Why switch? Because it's my head. We'll switch to Gladlock. Good That's right. Wanda. Don't mess with Wanda. And that's it. Oh, nice. Oh, that was that was good. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That dude, that blockbuster one. Dude, that blockbuster was like heartstrings for me. I got nostalgic now. I mean, I was nostalgic for the whole thing, but that was just like, aw, kid just had a bad day at school and his mom just came home and said, hey, I got a movie for you. What a sweet mom. What a sweet situation. That was fun. That was fun. Now I feel not sad, but kind of forlorn. Yeah. 90s were an interesting time. Interesting time. Definitely, uh, I don't know. For me, the 90s were sort of like a really warm time, but kind of sad time at the same time. I don't know why it felt sad. Like, if you were to take mid to late afternoon, right, as the sun's kind of getting warmer and getting, you know, a little more gold and put it into an entire feeling, that that's what the 90s felt like. That's what the decade of the 90s felt like. For me, anyway. I don't know. It's probably different for somebody else, but for me, that's what it was like growing up in the 90s. And I swear, dude, everybody who made commercials was like like jacked up on something. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody was high. Let's face it, everyone's been high since like the 60s. So, you know, everyone, every advertisement has been high on something, but like, I feel like it was like at its peak in the 90s. 
I mean, th and this was tame compared to like some of the other stuff. Like some of the other commercials, I'm gonna react to another one in a minute. But some of the other commercials were like weird, dude. Like the late '90s just got even weirder. So I, I, I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to say how to respond to any, any of that stuff. All right, so uh, I uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, if there's any other commercials or anything like that you want to see me react to, uh, definitely let me know. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Go get nostalgic. Or go learn about other decades that you were in. Peace out, my friends. I love you all. Rock on. I just spilled coffee on my pants. Awesome.